Exploding whales are a natural phenomenon caused by the buildup of internal gases in a dead, decaying, and usually beached whale. Humans also purposely explode whales in an attempt to dispose of the extremely large and difficult to move carcasses. A controlled explosion also tends to be safer than waiting for the whale to possibly explode on its own. In 2004 in Taiwan, a whale spontaneously exploded while in the middle of Tainan City. The whale had died after beaching. It was collected over a 13-hour period, using three large cranes and 50 workers to shift the whale onto the back of a truck. The whale was being moved to a wildlife reservation for educational purposes. When it burst, the whale splattered blood and entrails over surrounding shop fronts, bystanders and cars. The explosion did not cause any injuries, though one resident is quoted as saying, this blood and other stuff that blew out onto the road is disgusting, and the smell is really awful. The remaining whale did eventually make it to its destination, and the assembled specimen and some preserved organs and tissues have been on display in the Taijiang Cetacean Museum since 2005. When a whale dies, like any other animal, it progresses through the five stages of decomposition. The second stage of decomposition, putrefaction, is when bacteria consume and digest the internal organs, tissues, and any remaining food in the gut. The bacteria subsequently release gases, consisting mostly of methane, hydrogen sulfide, and ammonia. These gases will continue to build until the skin begins to disintegrate, at which point the whale will deflate slowly as the gas seeps out. However, occasionally the skin of the whale, which is very tough, continues stretching to accommodate the gas. Whale explosions are more likely if humans interfere with the corpse. Many beached whales are poked, moved, or purposely degassed by bystanders, causing the skin to suddenly rip. This then unleashes a mix of guts, gas, and other unpleasant viscera, sometimes at extremely high speeds. The phenomena isn't just present in whales. The build-up and subsequent release of gas happens with most animals as they decompose. The difference with whales is that they have extremely tough skin, which can handle a lot more pressure than most, allowing more gas to build and a bigger bang. In 1970, a 14 meter long sperm whale washed ashore on the central coast of Oregon. The weight of the carcass was estimated to be around 7,300 kilograms. After consulting with the US Navy, they decided to remove the whale using dynamite, assuming that the resulting pieces would be small enough for scavenger animals to consume. A charge of 450 kilograms of dynamite was selected. The dynamite was detonated and the explosion caused large pieces of blubber to land near buildings and in parking lots some distance away from the beach. Walt Umenhofer was parked at the beach that day with his brand new car which he'd only bought days earlier, during a promotion taglined, get a whale of a deal on a new Oldsmobile. Unfortunately, one of the pieces of whale blubber that fell from the sky landed on and caved in his car's roof. In the end, only part of the whale was disintegrated, with most of it remaining on the beach. Future whale disposals in Oregon involved burning or burying the whales. In some places, they will tow the whale carcass out to sea far enough that the currents don't bring it back to shore. Some countries take the precautionary measure of slicing open the whale before the gas gets a chance to build. In one case in the Faroe Islands, this was left too late and the cut became the catalyst for the explosion. 